Hey guys, welcome to the new video of Google Job Online Learning. In this video, we will be discussing about um, validation of payload. So, payload can be of different type like um, XML, JSON, CSV, whatever format. So, there should be a mechanism to validate um, those incoming payload against a particular structure. So, in this particular video, we will be uh, talking about the same and uh, we will be taking two different use cases, JSON and XML. So let's first start with JSON and then we will jump to XML. <clears throat> so this is the validate uh, JSON XML which I have already created. And this is a very simple flow. Uh, what I have done, uh, I have just uh, taken down the uh, validate schema and uh, there is some configuration uh, around it. So let's uh, start the walkthrough. So in order to start it, uh, let's uh, drag and drop the HTTP listener onto the canvas and give the path as JSON validate. You can give any path over there. And uh, you have to add the HTTP listener config. Just click over here. And something like this, a window will come up. You can change the port accordingly. Um, and you can hit the test connection as well in order to check if it is available or not. So it seems like my connection is already running, so that's why. Otherwise, uh, it will be a positive test connection. So, like this, it is fine. If it is giving any error, you can uh, you can change the port number and check the test connection again. So, having said that, let's go back to the message flow. <clears throat> this is the logger, which will be logging the payload. I will just change this thing as as uh, payload basically and after that validate schema so you have to just search for add modules look for json over here and just drag and drop json to uh, left hand side and just click on over here and validate schema will come up just drag and drop validate schema palette onto the canvas and after that you have to give the schema this is schema uh, this is being wrapped inside the src main resources by default and it is after that looking for a schema folder and my schema json other options are schema redirects and day referencing so it will be referring the canonical structure so let's let me show you the uh, my schema json for now it's pretty much straightforward if you try to understand this. Uh, this is the declaration or the namespace after it. And this is the type. The nature of this schema is array. It is an array having the objects which is getting repeated with a combination of person ID and person name with some particular attributes associated like person ID minimum length should be 4 and maximum length should be 6. Person name sh should be having at least one character up to 255, 255 characters are allowed both person id and person name are the mandatory fields so if there is a incoming json which doesn't have any of these fields it will error out uh, during the uh, validation so having said that let's uh, jump to the validation json again uh, we are passing the payload as the content after that i am just logging it if it is going through the happy path it means it is validated successfully if not we are just using the on error propagate we can go to the core and select for the error handling scope as on error propagate just to stop the flow and it will uh, it is going to write uh, json schema within this particular um, uh, the error payload format and after that it is going to uh, write in the log as well like error is in, written in the file something like that in on error propagate type i have selected json schema not honored so how to get it just click on this binoculars and you will see json schema not honored so not honored means whatever incoming payload it is not ma uh, matching with the schema which we have defined so having said that um, uh, let's try to uh, check this theory in actual practicals so i'm just executing this validate json module and i will go back to my postman and this is the json validate i am going to pass the person id and the person name this is the ideal scenario 
all person IDs are having four uh, minimum four digits uh, character in length and the person name is having minimum one and maximum it can go to any length so this is ready let me clean this up and I will hit the send button so it is successful 200 ok and we will go over here as well it says uh, payload validated successfully do a word wrap and now let's try to play it around let's uh, have less number of uh, characters in the person id so it should fit so not complaint with the schema 500l and similarly error is written in the file which is coming out of this particular uh, logger similarly if i uh, remove the name itself here the person name length is now zero let's hit again the same thing it's not matching uh, error is being encountered so uh, this is also a positive scenario and now what i will do i will remove the person id length and hit the send button again the same issue i will do control z and this time i will remove the entire type okay so like this so again person name was like one of the mandatory field so it will error out now uh, what i will do i will keep it as it is but I, this time i will remove the uh, the person id the entire type hit the send button so again the same thing because person id as well as the person name both are the required fields i will do a control z and again a positive scenario it's successfully working and validated so with this we come to the end of validated json uh, use case now we will jump to validated xml let me stop this uh, execution clear up the console similar logic nothing fancy uh, this time i will pick up the xml and i will use the validated schema onto the canvas that's it and after that i will click on this plus sign just to add the xml config and something like this will pop up so either you can specify the namespace within the uh, inline inline definition itself or if not like in my case uh, i will go with uh, default so i will not going to expand the entities it could be like all all the text will be checked internal internal child will be checked and never it will be checked for the all all uh, it will not expand the uh, entities okay i will go back to the uh, this particular thing and uh, similarly like we have explained for json schema this time i will be configuring the uh, xml xsd so this is being referred inside this my schema xsd and schema language w3c default you can have multiple options relaxing you can you can also use but this is the default so we will go by that and within the content i will pass the payload payload we will be getting from this http listener again with xml validate as the path within the advance i have set the method as post after that uh, logger just to mention the like received something like payload okay and here validated successfully and if not it will print the error along with that in the log it will say validation is being failed so let's try to uh, one more thing let's try to see the schema structure of this my schema xsd so this is very uh, simple xsd which i have referred it is a shipping order starting with order person it will ship to ship to is having multiple fields like it is being sent to which address like name address city country and some details about the item it can have n number of items in it but title note quantity and price is being uh, captured okay so having said that let's try to uh, check the validation i will go to the postman and this is like one of the sample uh, which we are going to try okay this is the positive scenario as it is following all the structures all the xml tags 
let's cross check if it is ready so now it's ready let me clean up the console and try to hit so 200 okay it means it is successfully uh, validated now what i will do i will remove one of the fields let's say i am going to remove the country control x okay and i will hit it again so it is not matching and 500 server error is being thrown payload xml failed in validation so this is what uh, i was trying to um, showcase like uh, this was very small example but you can have uh, a complex uh, situation as well in which uh, you have to validate your incoming payload so depending whether it is a json or, or xml payload you can validate it accordingly and based on uh, success or the failure of the validation you can proceed your logic accordingly so that's in this video and stay tuned for the next set of exciting videos thank you